Hey guys, Coach Neil here from BRX. Here's 11 tips to increase your exit velocity. Tip number one, making sure the tee is not too high so we can hit a low line drive. We've tested thousands of athletes here at BRX and one of the most common mistakes that we see is athletes setting the tee up too high. We want to make sure that we are hitting a ball, a low line drive right back at the radar gun. So setting the tee up a little bit lower than expected is going to put you in the best position for success. Tip number two, stand far away enough from the tee where we're not crowding the plate. The reason we want to stand away from the tee a little bit more is because we don't want to handcuff ourselves when we are swinging. Uh, the baseball bat. We want to make sure our arms are fully extended so we are able to generate the most amount of bat speed to hit the ball as hard as possible. Tip number three, stand far enough behind the tee when we hit the baseball. If our center of gravity is coming still and there's not really a whole lot of momentum, we're not really going to be generating a whole lot of bat speed into our swing. Tip number four, swing as hard as possible. As simple as the sound, guys, this is one of the most effective tips in order to increase exit velocity. The biggest mistakes that I see uh, with athletes going to the cages and hitting is they're swinging 85, 90%, and they get frustrated that they don't get to hit a ball harder. In order for you to hit a ball harder than you ever have done in your entire life, you need to practice swinging as hard as you can. Tip number five, utilizing a leg kick to increase shoulder hip separation. This tip helps with three major things. Number one, loading our back hip so we're able to rotate off of it. Number two, making room for forward weight transfer. Number three, increasing hip shoulder separation for increased torque. Number six, cover ground with your stride to increase weight transfer. Imagine these two scenarios. You're trying to throw a baseball as hard as you can off the mound. And number two, you're trying to throw a baseball as hard as you can on a pull down. What typically happens is you throw a baseball harder on a pull down because of the increased momentum that you have. Going off that, imagine that your stride is your way of building up momentum. Now again, we're not trying to hit like a happy Gilmore, we're trying to gain ground so we are able to hit the ball as hard as we can, building off that stride that we created. Tip number seven, show the knob of the baseball bat towards the catcher's feet. Showing the knob to the catcher's feet is really important because we're able to get the barrel of the bat into the hitting zone longer. This is going to maximize our chance of success. Even though we might time the baseball off a little bit, we're able to hit a ball that might be a little bit outside to the opposite field or a little bit early, we're gonna be able to hit a little bit more pull side. Tip number eight, loading your hands backwards when you go into the load phase of your swing. Even though this tip may feel a little bit more uncomfortable at first, by doing this, you are going to put your hands in the better position for when you swing. If you do the opposite of this and you're not hiding your hands behind your elbow, you're actually going to be doing more of a pushy swing rather than a whippy swing, which is going to decrease exit velocity, decrease bat speed as well. Tip number nine, scap load your rear shoulder blade. All right guys, building off this last tip, think of the baseball analogy that everyone talks about, the rubber band effect, right? By loading your rear scap, you're actually pulling that rubber band a little bit farther back. So if you were to release the rubber band, or in this case, swing the bat, you're gonna have higher exit velocity, faster bat speed, a lot better chance of success if you were to hit a baseball. Tip number 10, rotate your upper back. All right guys, this is kind of the last step in the whole shoulder hip separation from the upper body. We talked about the hands, we talked about the shoulder. Now we're actually going to rotate our upper back so we can maximize our shoulder hip separation so we are able to swing a baseball bat faster. All right guys, final tip, tip number 11, throw your hands in the direction of the pitcher. Essentially guys, what we're really trying to do here is just keep our hands inside so we're able to hit the ball up the middle. If we're casting our hands away, we're gonna be losing bat speed, we're gonna be losing power, and the barrel of our bat is actually gonna not stay in the hitting zone very long. So we wanna make sure that we keep our hands inside, keep it close, so we're able to throw it at the pitcher through our swing. All right guys, that is our 11 tips for increasing exit velocity. Next time you're in the cage, try them out as much as you can. Let us know what you think in the comments below.